Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Reddit Weekly. Uh, we are back looking at the top posts for the last week and uh, we're gonna hop right in here. Uh, quite a few of these are related to the Compilatron, which is not surprising, uh, but I have looked at some of them previously and uh, <laughs> they're pretty good. So, uh, what would happen if Compi was my internal dialogue? And I've seen this one already. <laughs> Victor Evan Inserter, idiot. <laughs> yes, that, uh, that, that seems like probably something that would happen if it was my internal dialogue as well. We better get a rude compy mod. <laughs> I would love that so much. <laughs> I'd show you where the... Uh, I showed you where I would show you where the odd underground pipe is, but you'll only lose another on the way. <laughs> I put up with any amount of verbal abuse if you could show me where odd underground pipe is. <laughs> yes, dude. Having those underground, like those random odd amounts of undergrounds, either pipes or belts, is really frustrating. What if you just explode at the end of the tutorial? <laughs> so effing done. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. That would be, that would be great. Uh, oh, hello there, Satan. Nice weather we're having. Oh. <laughs> A little teeny patch of iron inside the stone. You gotta love it. Gotta love that resource generation. Unintended consequences of Compilatron. Surrender your flesh, we demanded. <laughs> They're taking over, man. It's Skynet. With a super crown on. Oh my gosh. Automating the upvotes. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love it. You guys know I love these, like, 3D renders. This is actually fantastic. <laughs> oh, man, that is so cool. At around 8 times speed. Oh, yeah. I want to keep working on it. The doesn't start in at the same position, so it jumps between loops. Oh, dude, someone just, like, totally critiquing it. Uh, when you tell your bots to cement your entire base at once. Ah, yes. The bot swarms. They blot out the sun, man. This feels so satisfying. Satisfaction production. <laughs> I will admit, that is quite satisfying to look at. Definitely a pretty big base, 15.3 gigawatts. Satisfaction bar is full. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god, I hope this is correct when I set this in motion. Oh, jeez. For, for a minute, I thought this was my mega base, because these belts kind of remind me of some of the shenanigans I did with my belts. I had the same thing, uh, where, you know, if you hook everything up before you turn it on, um, <laughs> then you just sit in here praying that everything was right, and uh, it's usually not. Uh, you definitely usually have some little mistakes and bottlenecks you have to fix, but that's um, actually a lot of the fun. Uh, the ideal way to design a rail lock. Oh my god. Oh, oh, dude, I can't even look at this. Please, no. Oh my god. I don't know how I should feel right now. 501. I feel like I'm missing a joke here. I want to post 500 exact, but I need more iron. One single player game to launch, it never gets boring. Wow, nice. Uh, I tried to recreate the rocket in KSP with realism overall. Huh. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Huh. That's awesome. Uh, oh, this. This is super, super awesome. Um, I saw this yesterday, so... Fan art. I ask uh, Jazz Befrold to draw me and my friend playing Factorio, and he did with some additional ideas. Um, so I guess these are like the character, like him and his friend's characters or something. Um, but what I'm really focused on is this. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, look at this factory in the background. I would totally commission someone to do a drawing like this. I mean, this this part doesn't really look like... This is, like, photoshopped in, I think. But, 
Um, I mean, just like look at this factory, man. We got assemblers here. We got a um, factorizimo building, a nice train sitting here, some labs out in the back here. Uh, this looks like a potential oil refinery. A rocket, two rockets, in fact, shooting into space. Some robots flying around. Oh, man. I mean, you can see, like, the power poles and stuff coming in here. This is so cool. Um, I love it. I love this. I, I totally would have, like, a poster of, like, a factory background like this. You can even see some solar panels back here. Maybe some storage tanks is what this looks like. That's so cool. Um, actually, I wanted to look at the comments here. Um, apparently some... I hate being that person, but there's obviously something very troubling with this picture, and we're all thinking it, so I'll just say it. Factorizimo. <laughs> it was in work for four days. I have no idea how many work hours it actually took about the price. I only want to tell it was a three-digit number. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, the landscape is amazing. Yeah. Uh, this background is super cool. Uh, my son wanted me to make some spiral train tracks. Oh dear, this is, is this this is all one train, and it oh that's so cool actually. Oh that's really neat. Can you imagine me trying to run through this? <laughs> Absolutely no way. I mean there's not there's not there's never a gap. Like there is just no gap, so you couldn't. Oh my god. Uh. Stampable 60 science per minute mini factory. I always find these really interesting. Uh, these like nice kind of compact. I like how they actually enclosed it with rails here. Uh, that's that's quite nice. And uh, yeah, just like these, it's even, I mean, it's all science. You can even see a rock silo here. Um, this is actually really impressive. 60 science packs per minute. That's one a second. All fit in here is insanely impressive. Although... I'm actually not seeing the science pack producers themselves. Oh no, they're here. Okay, they're level three's beacon. Okay, it's hard to tell <laughs> unless you zoom in like that. Building buddies, factorio friends, factory friends, conveyor belt compatriots. <laughs> nice. I love this little fan art, Complatron. He's so happy. Ready to play hockey. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Uh, found a blip in the ground that's preventing me from placing belts. Can't shoot at mine at burn or landfill. Anyone know what this is? I'm using no mods. I'm on 1651. It's water. Yeah, I hate... Th this is so frustrating. Man, this seems to be happening more in 016. I think it's because of how they changed the landfill, maybe. Um... Where even when you think you landfill something, there's still like little patches of water like this that are nearly impossible to see. Um, so I, I hate when that happens. My main bus. I feel like I've seen this picture before. <laughs> or maybe just multiple ones like it, but either way. Are you sure it is a bus? <laughs> it's a bus forced through a cheese grainer. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description, actually. <laughs> My new copper mine. Oh, yeah, man. On-site smelting. Belts, belting this all up. I'm sure it goes to a train, or maybe they just belt it all the way up to their base. Um, On-site smelting is not something that's particularly common, but I don't think that belt is off. Um, I wanted to make sushi, but getting all the ingredients in the right amount in the right place was more complicated than expected. 10 out of 10 would make again. Oh god. Oh jeez. This, this pains me to watch. All these zigzag belts, please. Oh my gosh. Uh, you might not like it, but this is what proper planning ahead in theory crafting looks like. Wow. That's a, that's a balancer right there, man. That is a crazy balancer. Admire how the devs come up with these train station names. Build me baby one more time. Uh, if people don't know, 
Uh, train station names, the majority of them, I believe, are actually names of people who bought, like, the higher tiers of, of the game, like, when you could do that quite a long time ago. Uh, like, there's Furnace Attendant and a few others, and you could get your name on, like, a lab or a uh, train station. Um, so this was actually somebody's name they submitted. Yes, as this person just said. Tell me, baby, one more time. I love it. Uh, you're welcome. You will be. Uh, I'm confused. What? Compilatetron. <laughs> this is your purpose? <laughs> That's our only purpose, just moving this back and forth. Feeling each other infinitely. A little asymmetric intersection I wanted to share. Oh wow, this is actually really cool. I'd kind of like to take a look at it without the um, rail blocks in it, just because I could see it a bit clearer, but this is actually really neat. I don't know, I mean, it looks mostly properly signaled as well, I think. Good, compact, non-crossing right turns, never mind, does not contain loop, that's important. Interferes with left, right turns. Yeah, so there could be some throughput blockage issues here, but overall, that's really cool. Um, I'm pretty proud of the splitter reorganizer design. Is there a more compact way to achieve this? Ah, uh, wow, that's actually really cool. So it goes from just iron and copper to alternating. I actually don't know if I could have figured that out, like building that on my own. How compact it is. What manner of fresh hell did you create to make this necessary to begin with? <laughs> like came made express belt ancient factory. Oh my gosh. Green chips, I gotta see this. Oh, okay, I see what so they're actually that's really smart, because yeah, they need to have like two iron and two copper to feed these. That's really cool. Actually, yeah, that that's a really good use for doing that. Going left to right, and I'm wondering why I didn't just have your plates coming in in order. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there, there's all of them for the week. I don't think I skipped any. Um, I do expect that as time goes on, especially once Zero Seventeen comes out, um, that there's going to be a lot of like fan art, fan creations with Compilatron, and I'm really looking forward to it. To it, I think there's going to be a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, pretty cool, funny stuff with him. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed, found some stuff interesting, maybe got some inspiration, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts, leave them below, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.